Hi and welcome to the first episode of Powerful or Pointless. In this episode we're going to look at two iPhone applications. Let's take a look at the first one. The first one's Songify. Looks like that. Let's take a look. Once you load it you get some cool people sat around. Right, in this main page you just click the button in the middle and you say something. And the point of this is that it makes it into a song. So here we go. Hi there YouTube. So that's what that sounds like. And you can try different songs out by re-songifying. So you pick one of these, and I think you can actually pay for more. Let's try that out. So other than that, you can save the files by clicking that button. YouTube. Once you've saved it, you can listen to it over and over again, obviously. You must have a lot of time in your hands if you're going to do that. Or you can share it by sending it by email, Facebook or Twitter. Which I don't want to do. But that's pretty much it. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. So you can see I find that really fun. Obviously, it's something you'd get bored of really quick. But I think it's worth getting while it's free. It's not going to be free for long, I don't think, so uh, try and get it quick. That gets the powerful vote for me, because it's simple, easy to use, and it's quite fun. Powerful! Now let's take a look at the second app. The second app is Halftone. This is a photography app, so if you like fiddling around with your photos, then this will float your boat. So let's take a look at it. Halftone's basically a photography app, which tra transforms photos into a cat... Well, I'll show you, actually. Right, so you either take a new one or you choose from album. I'm going to choose from album. You can see here I've already done this, but I'll pick the powerful or pointless logo. That's what it does by default. So you can actually add more effects to it. You can add some captions by clicking that. Adding which style of captions you want. So you can edit the captions by clicking on them. There we go. Makes loads of sense. And it's the same with the bottom caption. I'm actually going to get rid of them. I don't like the look of the captions. So you click the blank one. And they're gone. You can also add change the font of the captions if you had any. But I don't. So there's no point. And this is a stamp effect. So you click on the stamp and it brings something out. To change the stamp, you can double click on it. Pick this one. So you can make it bigger. Pinch of zoom works, or move it around. It gets quite annoying actually to handle these, because when you try and move them, sometimes they expand. I'm trying to get this out of the way. There we go. I'll do for now. And what you can also do is change the background image. So you click on this page button here. Pick one of these. That one looks decent. There we go. So once you're done, you click on this button at the top here. And you can save it to album or send it to mail or print. I'm just going to save it to album for now. And that's pretty much it. You've got your new edited photo in your album. You can do whatever you like with it. Beautiful, isn't it? What a work of art. That's pretty much what that's like. And uh, I personally am not into these kind of apps, so this gets a pointless vote for me. Pointless! Although for a lot of people, I think it will be very enjoyable. This actually costs 69p in the UK, so check it out if it's your kind of thing. Let me know if you think these apps are powerful or pointless in the comments section below.